Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Rob Rodriguez. Now, let's talk about the facts. No, not the facts. Not the facts, either. Who still uses that? I'm talking about the FAQs. The frequently asked questions, if you will. Now, ever heard this phrase? Oh, you know, I get this a lot. Web pages took this to their advantage. And now, they're like, We know what you asked. But here are some similar questions to what you've asked that people and users of our website used in the past. Thank you for the great example, Yahoo Answers. I mean, for example, let's take an example out of life. Uh, a kid loses a tooth. You, in your mind, say, want to talk to the kid and say, Hey, was that tooth pulled or did it fall out? That's a frequently asked question that kids will get a lot, especially on the second grade playground. If a woman is pregnant, one question they get a lot is, or let me rephrase that, several questions they get are, fall under the category of, is it a boy or a girl? Have you been shopping for it? Have you prepared for it? Are you ready for sleepless nights? Are you ready for me to say, give me a minute? No, because that would be weird. I'll say, give me a minute in the next segment, because I don't want to transition on this one, you know? You know, people who watch the show give me a lot of frequently asked questions. Like, what made me want to start YouTube? How come I have a certain style on YouTube? How come I don't have many viewers and I'm a lot better than half the people with a million? Well, for starters, to answer that last question, I've only been around since 2014, in this variation of the show, and I don't think they're um, terrible, like there are some really good ones, they've just been around since YouTube's opening, and when, little known fact, YouTube was a dating site before it was bought, and became a video sharing service. Don't believe me? Look up the archive, which I will leave a link below and instructions. That being said, I need a minute. Well, believe it or not, the last time I did what I'm about to do was actually April of this year. So, let's do another scenario. So, you know, there's companies and businesses. What if annually they take time out of their year to do a talent show, kind of like how high schools will do that. I apologize if your high school didn't. I apologize if you didn't, if you never entered your high school talent show or play for that matter. Join drama, they'll teach you a lot. Let's move on to events in history that actually happened, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, before we start that, I gotta let you know, a lot of people already know this, but if you don't, I'm gonna teach you something new that you can look up later. So, like I said a few weeks ago, the 90s were a very cool time. It was also a very unusual time. Like, there were some really questionable actor decisions in movies. For example, you know the Caped Crusader, Batman. So, Michael Keaton did Batman for two movies. Then it was Val Kilmer, and you're not going to believe this. After Val Kilmer, they chose George Clooney to play the Caped Crusader. Now talk about Batman, Batman's ego, and we're talking about a guy who everyone, even in diapers, knows this guy by name. Of course, that is just an opinion. I'm learning those. Well, not really learning, but... So, yeah, there's this movie. Apparently, it didn't do well with Batman fans. But, let's look at this. Why didn't it do good? Exactly. And I apologize for that graphic scene there. Well, anyway, that is the show for you. You know to follow me on social media. Until next time, this is Rob Rodriguez saying goodbye. You know, you know, this is you, and please don't doubt it. 
if you have simply a credit card in your hand, you will max it out at a mall or a local vineyard, if that's what they're called.